what's up world this your boy your one and only money moves with your boy mem 2.0 on this youtube channel every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys live a better and prosperous financially free tomorrow as you guys know on this youtube channel we talk a lot about a multitude a variety of topics from current events to your city to my city vlogs credit how to use debt as leverage um, different types of loans, how to acquire real estate the non-traditional way, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon-to-be financial status. So guys, in today's video, the topic of today is black men black people thinking that white people are holding them back from financial success so guys before we get in this video i just want to promote my music i'm gonna leave a link in the description i'm on all major platforms all major music platforms worldwide apple music spotify um title deezer you know but i want to get you guys to my youtube page because that's the first distribution site of my music is youtube and for everybody who have subscribed and is subscribed to this youtube channel i appreciate you appreciate you for rocking with your boy since day one and you will be rewarded uh so let's get straight into the content so since the beginning of time since the beginning of america the colonization of america People from all over the world was coming to America for the American dream. And most people, in some form or another, did achieve the American dream. So, what is it with black people? black man black people sam and if this doesn't pertain to you i'm not talking about you but i i keep my ear to the streets i was in the streets for 10 straight years you know what i'm saying i've been around a lot of people who is not doing good financially so a lot of black people think that white people are holding them back holding them back financially uh, first of all, I want to say that this is not the Jim Crow period, you know. Uh, as you guys know, back in the Jim Crow period, black people had more relationships with each other. You know what I'm saying? They had more, it was more marriages, um, less kids born out of wedlock the family structure unit was exactly the way it was supposed to be the man was the head you know what I'm saying? man over woman woman over children so um but these this generation of black people here you know what I'm saying? the majority are some of the most how do you say idiots on the face of the earth? Most black people, the, most, most black people, the majority of black people vote Democrat down South. They vote Democrat. They're voting Democrat. They voted for Obama. They voted to pass gay rights and stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? They, Obama was in the, in the white house and Obama Pass something that is not right with God, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he passed gay rights, Barack Obama, and black people don't see how the Democratic Party is not the party that you should. That's for black people. Actually, the Democratic Party is the party that's going to hold black people back. You know what I'm saying? Why wages are not getting increased? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what? What 
does it sound like for a black man to say that oh th that the white man is holding them back? You know what I'm saying? And I didn't hear black guys say this around white guys. You know what I'm saying? If I was white, you know what I'm saying, and I heard you saying this, I would feel like you was an idiot, and I would feel so empowered by you saying that. Like, there's nobody holding black people back. There's nobody holding black people back, guys. Um, There's no laws telling you that you can't start a business that you have to work for you you have to work for pennies you can basically do whatever you want to but for some reason most black people most of my people we choose to do wrong things you know what i'm saying like you know like, like a lot of guys don't want to work how and how else is you gonna make money without working a job how else is you gonna make a check how else are you gonna get the check if you're not working a job you're setting yourself up for failure to begin with and and and, and you guys are running around here listening to women you know what i'm saying black women to black women be talking about oh the white man white people holding us back and then they turn back around and say oh i want to date chad i want to brag because you ain't this you ain't that man you know you got to cut off you got to cut off all the all the buffoonery all the buffoonery and stuff uh white people is not holding you back you know what I'm saying like the most thing that white people would do like if too many black people move in their neighborhood they probably move to another neighborhood because 9 times out of 10 they feel that black people bring drama chaos murders you know what I'm saying stuff like that make the crime rate go up. So a lot of people don't want to be around that because you guys are killing each other. You know what I'm saying? You're out here killing each other over nothing. Um, Black man, ain't nobody holding us back. You can go start a business. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. If it's successful, if it's not successful, it's on you. You know? You can go work a job. If you don't succeed in your job and you don't save money and you're broke and you're mad, that's on you. If you don't have a home, you can have a home, cars. You can have anything you want. You know, so I mean, let me know what you guys think on the video today, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel also and thumbs up this video. Okay, guys, that's all I got for the video. Um, over and out. Thank you, guys.